Luigi Daniel is a senior lecturer in international humanitarian and international criminal law at Nottingham Trent University. He joins me now live from London to discuss this further. Very good to have you here on the program. So just give us the background here in terms of how Meta has actually acted since the start of this war. Thanks for having me and thanks for the question. This is the culmination of uh, an old attempt uh, to conflate all the various Jewish identities around the world and even the various modalities and beliefs of Zionism in history in just one belief and identity, the one that the Israeli government asserts to have the monopoly of. Uh, this is an attempt that started a long time ago with the dangerous conflation of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition of antisemitism, uh, dangerous conflation in that it was bringing definition of antisemitism to collapse on a prohibition of criticism against the state of Israel. And this is now the culmination of this attempt through uh, private uh, platforms that are uh, using sometimes unhinged algorithms that cannot even distinguish between a denunciation of international crimes or worst. Uh, um, instigations to genocide against Palestinians uh, with a denial of the right to exist of a people. And this is the confusion that platforms uh, risk to nurture, uh, and uh, by doing so, they risk to radically undermine the freedom of expression and of opinion. So do you think that Meta is actually wrong here to connect the word Zionism, uh, the word Zionism with anti-Semitism? I think so. Uh, Antisemitism is uh, a real threat and is alive and kicking, but critique against a state and a state ideology that postulates that there is one people, the Palestinian people, who has no right to be protected uh, from international crimes and even from genocidal conduct, uh, that is uh, inadmissible. And uh, the demonstration that this conflation is inadmissible is that there are so many Jewish organizations and groups in the world that are actively declaring themselves to be anti-Zionist. So uh, the paradoxical uh, conflation of this approach by Meta is that Jewish people around the world themselves will be unable to criticize the implication of the Zionism that we see in government in Israel today against the Palestinian people as a protected group under the Genocide Convention. Luigi Daniel from Nottingham Trent University, thank you very much for explaining this to us here on TRT World. Thanks for having me.